The herb puffer wanted some more malty beers. He wanted something to get away from these farmhouse ales. And so what we did, we went out to the stars. We got Saturn. <laughs> we brought it back. This is Bell Saturn. What is it, Ron? Well, Bell Saturn is a barley wine, a right. big old barley wine, much bigger than I'm ready for. <laughs> so uh, I guess let's dive in. I'm a little scared. There we go. Glub, 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 glub. Guys, we want to let you know to check out our brand new podcast, Brew Review Crew on Tap. You can find us at brewreviewcrew.com slash iTunes. You know, a big barley wine like this, it's outside my comfort zone. Yeah, I, I guarantee you're going to kind of struggle with this one because it's, what, 11% alcohol. That's 11.9. That's actually kind of impressive. I feel like that's a really soft 12 for Ohio, like, because I'm sure that it's probably over 12 and they're just softening up to be sold here. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't doubt it. So it is outside of what I'm used to drinking and what I typically enjoy drinking, but I'm coming on with an open mind, hoping God. that much like the planet, this beer inspires me. So right. why don't we dive into the smell? You know, I can never hate on a barley wine for its aroma. No, and you can't hate on it one, especially that's been aged in bourbon casks like this. I mean, you just get that nice oaky, you get a good uh, toffee sweetness coming through. Yeah, it just it smells fantastic. Caramely sweetness, and I, I'll give it that. I don't always enjoy the flavor of barley wines, but they always smell really nice. Yeah, there's a little burnt to it, too, to me. Yeah, you know, like Ooh. marshmallow or something. I don't know. It just it smells like candy to me, just nice and sweet yeah. and like liquidized candy. Yeah. You get like some burnt oranges or something, like yeah, a, like a tangerine. You, there's, a, there's a charcoal-y burnt kind of aroma there. Not for 11%, not much of a fusel note, really, but you kind of get a little bit. I just get uh, maybe just a hair of it, like just yeah. a bit of like a medicinal quality, but, yeah. but just a little bit. All right, well, uh, I am ready to give this one a shot. Going with an open mind, I'm going to like it, damn it. <laughs> and you better put a ring on it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Get it, Saturn? Saturn has rings. That is really nice. You, you, you know, you can't complain about this one. I'll no, because it it's hop, it's like hoppy. It does have a little. It's a great balance. I wouldn't. At first, I wasn't going to say it's hoppy. This is probably more the uh, the American style barley wine, which has a more of a hot presence. I would say it's really balanced with a nice bittering at the end, but that mouthfeel dough. That mouthfeel dough. <laughs> it's nice and textured. It's got a yeah. really kind of like full mouth to it, and I'm really happy. That this one is not coming in, even though it's at a 12%, basically, it doesn't come through with any sort of heat. Right. Just really nice, sweet, malty um, flavors. It almost tastes like it's on nitro. Like the way it's creamy and smooth, that texture reminds me almost of like a nitro beer. Um, yeah, I, I get like a weird sort of, um, it's not weird, but weird <laughs> for the style maybe, um, an, an unsuspected grassiness at the end. Okay, yeah. I, I do get more than what I typically get for hops in a barley wine. Yeah, I still get those big sweet flavors though too. It's not just a big hop bomb. It, it has some toffee notes, some caramel, some burnt sugar, dark sugar kind of notes to it too. Really complex. I love the sweet and bitterness because it, it balances, but they also come out together. Sometimes the balance turns into a cancellation effect. These both, you know, both parts shine. I really like that about this beer. Yeah, and you know, for me, barley wines are a style that a lot of times I can only finish about what we get in a pour, like about <laughs> yeah. six ounces worth. But I could probably drink not even just one whole bottle, but I could probably drink a few of these. There's, there's a well, I mean, flavor wise, I'll probably get knocked on my ass after a few, but, but there, it's it's really balanced, like yeah. you said. I really enjoy that this is. And I, I wonder what lovers of barley wines would, would say about this. Yeah. Because I feel like it is sort of atypical of the style in that I like it. And, <laughs> and that it is it is more, uh, it's it's less malty sweetness and in-your-face boozy fusel notes than many other ones. Yeah. I'm not going to give this my 100. But I think it's in the 90s for sure. I'm going to go like a 96. If anything, for a barley wine, it might be a little thin. I don't know. I'm going to go lower than that. Okay. I, I mean, I like it a lot, but I'm going to go 93, okay. 92.5. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Uh, it's, it's in a B plus, B minus range for me. It's better than any barley wine I can say I've had in a while, except of, of some of the amazing like Bourbon County ones. Yeah. But but for, for this, I think it's really, really interesting, well-balanced. It is a little thin. You are right. Overall... I think both of us, we would give it like a, a solid a solid A. Yeah, guys. So if there's any more of this available, make sure you search it out because it's a good one. I mean, anything in the in the Planetary series is going to be kind of a hit. 
Uh, until you do, always remember. We're the Brew of You crew. We'll review. I'll brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, we want to know, is this a typical barley wine or is this one a little bit off? Let us know in the comment section below what your favorite barley wines are. And do not forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Share us with your friends. And as always, make sure you check out our Facebook, YouTube, and Google Plus pages all at Brew Review Crew. See you next time.